Hey, what's going on, guys? Just another pickups video here. Got to stay hydrated. It's kind of hot out, especially where I live here in uh, Virginia. Sponsored by Corona. But I did get some good scores today. Got a couple rel relatively early. Went to local pawn shops, thrift stores, and hit the Kmart. And I'm pretty happy with what I got. I did hit GameStop yesterday for the first time in weeks. And they actually had a, a pretty decent sale for once. So I kind of took advantage of some things they had going on there. So I guess I'll get on with the GameCube scores first. Nothing major, but Star Wars Rebels, Rebel Strike Squadron 3. I played this game years ago. It's nice to have it back in the collection. I sold it back to GameStop like an idiot. So, I had to actually demo too. I, I, I got it somewhere. I got to dig it out. But <coughs> I'll figure that out later. But Rebel, Star Wars, Rebels, Strike, Squadron, Rogue Squadron 3. What a fucked up name. But anyway, not a bad Star Wars game. I think Star Wars fans don't, have, don't hold it in high regard, but it's still fun. MC Groove, Dance Crazy. And I just noticed this. This is a Mad Cat's licensed game, I guess. This came boxed with a uh, Mad Cat's, I guess, dance mat. Yeah, there it is on the back. If any of you know what Mad Cat's, is really nothing to write home about. I mean, I, I would never buy anything with Mad Cat's label on it. But two bucks complete. I'll put it in Game GameCube collection, so not a bad deal. And... But I did pick up GameCube wise, like I told you guys before, I go to the uh, pawn shops or thrift shops and I find GameCube games complete or any game really complete. But some asshole steals the disc. So I just basically say, hey, can I have this? And they say, yeah, sure. So I got Kelly Slater's Pro Golfer, everything except the disc. And I also got uh, Freak Style complete without the disc. So, maybe the same asshole was going around to each thrift store stealing shit, I don't know. But, if you guys have either disc for these games, let me know. I'll be willing to work something out for you. They look like a... They are two games I would like to have in the collection, so... There's that. For the GameCube stuff. PS... PS1 and PS2. I'm pretty happy with my T PS2 purchases. I got black... I was actually playing a little bit of this game um, downstairs. I had a lot of fun with that. and I'm actually uh, kind of hooked on this game. I just want to play uh, play more of it. It got kind of bashed when it first came out. I don't know if a lot of you know this, but it's made by Criterion, who make uh, the Burnout series. So the story is they actually went on a limb and tried to stray away from their racing roots and decided to try to make a first-person shooter. And it, it took a beating. I remember in the uh, the reviews, a lot of people said it was shit, and it was just nothing but fluff and action, and not a whole lot of story. Which I don't know how you can really bash a first person shooter, you know, saying the story sucks because there aren't too many first person shooters where the story is good. So I didn't understand that one, and uh, I'm actually picking it up after all these years and checking it out. And like I said, I'm pretty happy with what I have played so far. It's also on the original 360. So if you're a first person shooter fan, you see this, pick it up. I, re I, I recommend it. In this game, I don't see it too often out there. I picked it up Lupin the Third. For some reason, the name Lupin was sticking in my head as a something I, I, I should be picking up or something I should have in a collection or something that might be worth some money. I don't know. I, I just saw the name Lupin. I'm like, man, there's something about this game tells me to pick it up. And it's in excellent condition. The disc is it's okay, you know. But it actually looks kind of fun, so I picked it up. So there's Lupin the Third, Treasures of the Sorcerer King. So there's that. And I picked up a PS1 sports game. And a NFL Blitz. It's got Cordell Stewart. Steelers, so uh, Steelers are my team, so I figured I couldn't let it just sit in the thrift store and ride away. Got to bring the Steeler, uh, 
steal the game home and give it a good home. So I might even give it a shot. I'll, I'll play it. My man Cordell Stewart. We hope we were always hoping this guy would do something for our team. He never did shit, but hey. Way to go, Cordell. And this game, I'm actually uh, this is probably one of my uh, uh, best finds today, and it would be Moto GP for Capcom on the Wii. For a lot of you who don't know, racing games are not uh, very abundant on the Wii. They're very rare. There's not too many games uh, companies that will make a, a racing game for the Wii, other than EA shitty sports, shitty sports. Other than EA shitty Need for Speed uh, series. But there's this, and I also have uh, Formula 1 2005, which is very, very rare. So I don't see this too often. I picked it up. I paid 7 bucks for it. I actually played a little bit of it on the, on the Wii just to test it out, and I, I kind of had some fun. Controls are a little weird, the way it controls, but it worked. So, yeah. So if you see these games for the Wii, pick them up, guys. Uh, even if you're not a racing fan, it will be worth some money. I could probably sell this for eBay at least 20 but I'm not. I'm just going to keep it. MotoGP on the Wii. And next I picked up Shinobi at Kmart. It was brand new for, uh, I think, 10 bucks or something. 10 bucks 3DS game. I can't go wrong with that. Picked this up at Kmart for 15 Deep Blob 2. I think there's a one. Obviously, there's a one out there somewhere, but uh, I've heard a lot of uh, good things about this game. It's made by THQ. Who, a lot of their games are kind of hit and miss. Depends on, uh, I guess, how they're feeling that day at uh, THQ to put out a good game or not. Deep Blob 2. And I picked these games up at GameStop for the Wii U. They're actually on sale. Not sale or price drop, but picked up Skank, Skank, Skank for 20 bucks. That wasn't 20, it was like 17. I got it used. Looking forward to uh, playing this. There's no way I was going to pay 40 or 50 bucks for it on launch. So, Skank, Skank, Skank. And Tekken Tournament. Tag Tournament. Tekken Tag Tournament Wii U Edition. I'm not a huge fighting fan, but for like 17 bucks, I picked it up. So I think I paid, it was like 35 bucks for both of these, which isn't bad for Wii U games. I mean, the prices are, are starting to come down a little bit on Wii U games, which is nice. So That's it for my pickups, guys. Um, you got any questions, you know, feel free. I'm finishing up uh, Revelations on the Wii U. I'm playing uh, Tales of Graces F. I'm having a blast with that. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot one. I picked pick up. Ah, oh, shit. I picked up... Uh, Shining Gum and Tensei 4. I played a little bit of it. Like I said, I'm right in the middle of playing uh, Tales of Grace this F, so I really don't get my RPGs mixed up. But This is actually still pretty uh, common in Best Buy and uh, GameStop, so if you're looking for the collector's edition, you know, check it out. It's out there somewhere. That's it, guys. i got to clean up the mess I just spilled, so take it easy and uh, you know, post your comments if you got any.